Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> hey, what's up everyone today? It's the man child. All right, so today up for review, I just got in a new Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, Sun Man, Pighead. They're part of the Rulers of the Sun, Sun Man subline for the Masterverse series. Another figure, I think he come out really cool, you know? I mean, I think it looks a lot better than early images. I like that newer, it has like a darker greenish color on the body to where the Origins one had a brighter yellowish color. And I'll bring him in and compare him, but I like the way he came out and the accessories it comes with. Taking a quick look at back of the box, check out that art, man. That's incredible. Got Pighead over here putting his foot through an old wooden shield. Looks like he's taking on some ancient Roman soldiers or something like that. Here's a close look at the bio. You want to pause and read that? Yeah, it's a cool bio for this uh, character. And dropping down, these are all four figures as part of this Wave 8 Masterverse series. Here's some more cool art on the right-hand side of the box with Pighead. He's got, yeah, an energy mace going, which he does come with. And he also has this energy or ghost snake or something, or some type of minion that you can see in the art, and he also comes with that in the box, too. And here's a quick look around with the Masterverse pig head and those accessories at a box. So taking a closer look at pig head, I mean, what an awesome head sculpt. I'm really liking this f character figure. Um, And I did the Origins one, too. You know, it just seemed like, I don't know, it kind of reminded me of something that could have been in the vintage toy line of the day, you know, um, with some of the wacky characters. But, of course, Sunman was his own series that I didn't even know existed at the time. Actually, I did play with a vintage Sunman figure when I was a kid, but as far as I know, it was in the line. Um, Anyway, check that out. Just the way these, um, what do you call them, the boar tusks are done in there. That was really awesome. Now, they don't articulate. I ain't kind of same. There's those two on this side, and there's one point down on this on the right side. Uh, the way they snout is sculpted, he got some paint in there, the mouth is like yeah, open a little bit, no teeth aside these tusks. I love the way the eye is really menacing. And the color of skin, I like this a lot better. First, I think in early images, it's more yellow like the Origins, but uh, yeah, I like this. It works better for the Masterverse. Got that cool helmet, um, you know, and these horn things up here off the helmet. Uh, now, as far as the articulation, so let's see, you can go down and back. You can spin left to right like that, you know, rotate all around these top piece on the helmet. So it's all, they're all part of the sculpt. Of course, these outer ones are like a yeah, different purple. And then the little horns come off the top or to match the, you know, main part of the helmet. It's got some cool sculpting in there, like something kind of like a shield. Like, I don't know, some type of Aztec symbols or something kind of reminds me of going back to that art. Um... Here's the, all right, here's the back of everything. Shield goes all the way, the hood goes all the way down, or helmet, excuse me. Now, it, the helmet looks like it's all part of the sculpt, or maybe the head's under and glued. So let's pop the head off for a second and take a look at it. All right, all right so there's our ball peg. And now taking even a closer look at the face, check out all the detail and stuff like that, right? Bottom, sides, all that. Um, Yeah, it's, uh, I guess it is its own skull, but it don't look like the helmet wants to come off without cutting it or something. So I'm not sure what's under there. Might be pegged in or glued. So there are two different sculpts, but not really meant to come off for the most part that I can see. So putting the head back on real quick and moving down to the body and buck. Um, yeah, some cool hey, Roman type armor or something like that. Um, now it also looks like it's its own. It's all part of the sculpt armor. I don't think it comes off. We'll check it out. But yeah, neat metallic blue color. Just like all the um, shoulder pads and the helmet. He has a single um, chest harness piece on with spikes, which is really neat. And yeah, then it's of course connected to the belt. So you can see that's the front and the back. And to take that off, so it just looks like we have a little snap right here. It's going to pop off like that. And then we can pull it off the left side of the body. Take a closer look at that. So it's pretty much that harness off, you know, off the body. Yeah, this is all, this is its own piece so as far as our articulation right we know we could spin with that ab crunch spins at the waist we go forward and back like this um moving on to the arms and shoulders so he's he gets these cool shoulder um pads here steel spike sh or shoulder guards they're identical on both sides and they also have little buckle straps that pop off we'll take them off in a second but as far as your articulation with the arms with these on so he's already you know go up all the way like that we can go down forward back Still has a bicep swivel, even with the strap, because it goes around a bicep. The arms go all the way up like this to the face. Got these awesome bracers, you know, even the color's wacky. Goes perfect with Motu. You really, you know, see the spikes all over them. They're identical on both sides. And these also look like, to me, they are separate, but once again, glued on to the forearm. I'm not really, looks like it might be able to turn. Doesn't on that side. What about the left side? 
No, I can't get mine to turn. Maybe I gotta loosen them up, but they actually are, yeah, see, because you can see the part of the green arm coming through the side. So I'm assuming they're separate. So I put a little, I was putting a little pin underneath here. I didn't want to damage my figure, but it, once again, it does look like these bracers, bracers are separate. But if you ever want to cut these off to customize, I don't know if it's a normal forearm under there. You know, it might be sculpted just to get the bracer on. I've seen that before with some of the Masterverse, but yeah, they are separate from what I can see. And then moving back to the right arm, finish up the articulation. So like I said, we know about the bracers. They don't spin, um, but yeah, spiked. And of course, he did, so he comes with a semi-gripping hand on the right side on hinge joint. He can spin, right? Go in and out. And then on the left side, he comes with an open shield hand. And that can, that's also on hinge joint. can, you know, spin and go in and out. So moving back up to these shoulder guards, um, let's take these off. So it looks like, like the belt. We're going to pop it here. And that side comes right off. And we'll pop the left side like this. And then that shoulder pad comes off. And there's a close-up look at a shoulder pad or the shoulder guard. As I said, you can see the collar, the spikes, two straps, and they're both identical. And here's a better look with pig head now without those shoulder guards on. You don't want them, right? And articulation now is pretty much the same. But if you didn't want to use them, it's what he looks like. Now I threw that single chest harness on too. If you want to display pig head with the chest harness as he is and without the shoulder pads, you can check something like that out. And as I said, with that, the articulation, so we can still turn, bend it, the ab crunch forward and back. So I'm going to put the shoulder guards back on. I just think it looks cool on them, but it seems to me it's easier to put these straps on all the way down by the elbow like this. You might have to heat them up because these are kind of tough to work with like that. And then slide them back up the arm. And putting the left shoulder guard back on too, as I said, I put the strap down by the elbow, somewhere around here, put it on just to snap, you know, click that snap. And I worked it up in here and it's best to try to uh, set it inside this bicep cut. Otherwise it just keeps sliding down, falling to the elbow. So putting all the armor pieces back on, moving down to finish up the rest of the articulation. So we know he spins at the waist. So you got that cool belt and this uh, <laughs> armored, looks like scales type of loincloth. So it's his own unique loincloth. It's Soft, like a lot of them, goes up and down. Cool sculpting paint, the front and the back. Um, as far as the legs, too, now you can go all the way out with a split. Kick forward, right back. Spin has that thigh cut in there. As far as the, the knee, can bend all the way back like that. Got these big, uh, yeah, the boots he's known for, like the Origins, too, with the bright purple colors and match the bracers. And then, of course, this part of the boot somewhat well, matches the gloves, not the body's more metallic, but. You can spin at the boot, and like Masterverse 2, you can heat these and take these boots off and put brown He-Man boots if you wanted to. It's a larger peg in there, but it is possible. So we know he spins at the boot, and as far as the foot, we can go up, down, spin left to right, and it kind of rocks back and forth. And everything, the right leg's all the same with the articulation. Boots are the same, nothing different. So moving on with Pig has accessories. It comes with this really cool shield. Got the outer part uh, to match the, you know, bracers and fur on the boots as far as the color. And you got all this blue metallic um, color to match the you know, armor and the shoulder pads. And also the symbols, again, like some type of Aztec symbol all around the shield. And then here's the back with the typical straps you see for the Masterverse. It's going to fit that open hand. Then he also comes with two additional hands. So we have another semi-open weapon gripping hand to replace that open shield hand on the left side. And he comes with a complete closed punching fist to replace the right. And then we get this really cool translucent energy mace. Check that out. I'm a sucker for translucent weapons. I love seeing stuff like that. But this, even a chain, it's it's really, I mean, extremely flexible. This is heavy up top, but the spikes are well done. Um, and you even got like a dagger at the bottom where the, uh, you know, the handle is. Pretty cool. And then for his final accessory, we get that uh, energy ghost snake, whatever it's supposed to be, minion on the side of that box art. That's really cool. That's one of the neatest accessories aside that mace I've seen yet. Look, at it. it's just all, uh, yeah, blue translucent with like metallic Almost like a sparkly color in it. Maybe it's just my light, but look how flexible that is. Got an open mouth fangs, like something goes with the snake man or something. Here's a closer look at that open mouth and sculpting. So let's set up Pighead with his weapons. Now the mace, obviously we'll put it in the right hand right now because it's a semi-closed one. Now these hands are really hard. I've heard this complaint with people with Masterverse figures. Sometimes just put a blow dryer on low heat for a minute or so, or you can use hot water. I use a blow dryer. But even this hand, it's so stiff, I couldn't even pop this... Um, handle in here with the mace, but I can slide it through down like this for this particular figure and it works. And then we'll put the shield on the left side with the shield gripping hand, or that's what it's usually intended for. And 
Looks like it's easier with this back strap. You got to flip it over to spike to help hold it on the bracer. And it's going to look something like that. Yeah, getting a strap over these two spikes. It helps hold it so it don't fall off. And here's a quick look with Pighead with his mace in the right hand. Of course, the shield on the left side. Check that out. Looks awesome. So I took the shield out of hand. I just left the open hand on. And I'm trying to wrap that energy snake or whatever it's supposed to be. His minion on the arm. Something like the art. So it looks like that. But the tail doesn't go all the way down and around to the back like it showed on an image. But anyway, it looks something like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and here's a comparison once again with that side art. And the best I can get the snake around that arm. And I put the shield back in that ghost snake around the arm. And try to make it to where you can use a snake and a shield. And make it like it's coming out of him. Or he's spell casting it or whatever he's supposed to be doing. But yeah, it's sort of limited because the way it's pre-posed, you know, molded. So if you try to turn the um, tail around the back and the neck or certain things, the head's looking down. It's you got to fill around with it, but you can do something like that. Looks cool. So I can use all his accessories. Where it came coil around his waist and seems to hold. It's pretty neat. So moving on with a couple quick side by side comparisons. Of course, we have our new Masterverse pig head and our Origins pig head. I mean, that's there's never one done in the classics, and I think the vintage. Well, obviously, it wasn't part of the Motu vintage line. Some man with his own line. It was a vintage pig head out, but. This is what we have available. So those two together look pretty neat. So I took the head off the Masterverse pig head and put it on the Origins body. And it, uh, same ball peg. And it works pretty cool. It doesn't, you know, aside, it's a little greener under my light with this yellowish. Yeah, it's more yellow, I think. It does work. It doesn't look too bad. You can, you can make it work. Articulates. Up, down, forward, back. And this is the Origins pig head head on the Masterverse body. Uh, yeah, it works. Articulates. Same thing. The skin ain't too far off a little bit. Some more greener. Um, gives it more of like a filmation look if he was in filmation or something like that. So I threw one of these shoulder armored pieces on the Origins. Of course, the color don't match. Um, does work. And wrapped the snake around his neck and also threw the Masterverse pig heads armored on the Origins. Really sloppy and loose. You want to see that. And I tried to shield. Didn't get it to work, you know, but man, it falls out of hand. And the club in the origin's hand because these under sculpt fingers, which I don't care for on a lot of these figures, it keeps popping out because wider. Even his does, but I did try all that. You want to check that out. And of course, here's a quick comparison with the Masterverse Sun Man himself against our new Masterverse Pig Head. So it's like, uh, yeah, the Sun Man, He Man, and Skeletor. Check those two out. Both great figures. I really do. I even like the way the Sun Man come out. Now our new Pig Head. Awesome. And here's a quick look at all four figures in the Masterverse Wave 8 series. So you can see all those together. I'm going to have them all and review them all. Alright, so overall that was my review on the new Masters Universe. Masterverse Pighead, or part of this, that Sun Man subline series. Um, i got to be honest, he's probably one of my favorites in this Wave 8. Uh, it's a toss-up. I, I like them all. Uh, the last one I reviewed was Shadow Weaver. I think she came out really cool. The robe, just the way she flows, the hands. I like that cloth cape. Manny Face has really impressed me with the multiple faces and how you can change them out. And that gives options for people who are good with 3D printers and paint for customizing options. With, I mean, you can literally print hundreds of faces, whether it's Motu or Thundercats or Transformers or whatever you want. If you know how to do that, it would probably fit as long as you make the right pegs. Um, Sorceress is a beautiful figure. My only gripe with her was the wings. Um, it's cool. I don't mind the cape, and I get the reason why they did it. I just kind of wish they would have printed maybe some feather patterns or something here instead of just the plain Masterverse cape material. But it is what it is, you know. She's still a nice figure, but, he, you know, the pig head is just really cool with the colors, that just menacing looking with the snout, the weapons. I love that snake, the shield, and the or just the armor pieces, the shoulder ones, and they come on and off, you know, really cool. One of my favorites yet, I gotta say. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and liked this figure. Let me know in the comments. I appreciate everybody watching. And until next time, take care.